Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Gremlins Ultimate Stripe. I got this at GameStop for $30. As you can see here, we have the original poster, movie poster. We're here. We got the box holding Gizmo and Stripe popping through. Uh, then the little cute and then crossed out clever, mischievous, intelligent, dangerous. Um, on the sides it says Gremlins. Same with the other side and Ultimate Stripe. On the back we have uh, a gadget salesman is looking for a special gift for his son and finds one at a store in Chinatown. The shopkeeper is reluctant to part with the Mogwai, but sells it to him with the warning to never expose him to bright light, water, or to feed him after midnight. All this happens, and the result is a gang of gremlins that decide to tear up the town on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and there you see Stripe in the film. Uh, very cool. And this opens up, it's a window box. There you see him in all his glory, holding the chainsaw. Comes with chains, uh, an electric chainsaw. Uh, obviously not real, but it, you can tell it's an electric chainsaw because of the plug. Skateboard and a uh, skill saw blade. So let's go ahead, also, the wind, the uh, packaging, it does have a Velcro thing on there, so it stays closed pretty well. However, I'm going to take it out of the package so that we can go ahead and review this bad boy. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, he comes in half a clamshell. And the little extras are taped in here. First we'll take a look at the chainsaw. If I can get out. There we go. Chainsaw looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a uh, DeWalt. <laughs> uh, but it's Braddington Power Cutter. 14 inch by 200. Love the detail they put into this thing. Let's see. Make that up. There we go. Upper and lower hand guards. Nighttime tree cutting. Cup curb catcher. Guard link chain made in the U.S. All right, and then we have here shop master serious business dove. Is that what it says? Serious business, Dave. <laughs> Heavy duty. plug two prong plug doesn't actually work it's a stationary blade just plastic but the detail is really nice on this uh, the button does not push in neither does the trigger here but still very very nice attention to detail very cool and this of course was made by NECA which are known for their quality adult collectibles. Then we have this skill saw blade, which again is plastic, not much to that. Skateboard, let's angle this down a little bit. Skateboard does roll. 
rolls very smoothly, really. And then stripe is held in here by a series of rubber bands. And of course, it looks like somebody ran off with my scissors. So I'm gonna have to use a pocket knife to cut these rubber bands. Bear with me a minute, guys. Okay, so that took a little bit more effort than I was hoping for. Uh, I pretty much had to rip him out of the package. So, here's Stripe, my favorite of the gremlins, and really many people's favorites. Uh, he was the leader of the original gremlins, and in Gremlins 2, there was another Stripe like character called Mohawk that uh, started out as a leader but then be went rogue and became a spider gremlin and kind of went off on his own and the brain gremlin took over from there but Stripe who I always called Mohawk for the simple fact he had a Mohawk uh, when I was younger but he looks really great very good attention to detail. His mouth is on a hinge, opens and closes. That's as far open as it can go. And then closed like that. Uh, the hair, it's only attached to the top of the neck or the bottom of the back of the head. Uh, as you can see it flaps. And that's because the head is kind of on a ball joint it looks like and turn it you can move it up and down slightly not too much but then the neck is also on its own joint as well there's two joints one at the head and one at the neck uh, the ears are also kind of movable I wouldn't risk moving them too much because it doesn't look like they're really supposed to. Oh no, it looks like they might be on a hinge, but I wouldn't want to risk it. Uh, the arms, they do not move out to the side, but they do move around just like that. Um, the elbow is on a hinge very tight hinge be very careful the more you work it the easier it gets but I would be very careful with that especially the first time get those a little bit loose all right there we go and then the hands are on a ball joint uh, a ball joint hinge it looks like uh, rotated around and then That hinge, I, I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Uh, as you can see, there is a hinge there. But it's so tight. It's similar to these up here. It's so tight. I don't want to risk trying to bend it, really. Same with that one. So tight. Uh, the legs turn just like that. Uh, knee, there is a knee joint, and ankle rotation. There is also an ab crunch. Very nice. Um, he does have a little trouble standing on his own. You almost need a, uh, stand for him uh, however most of the time the gremlins they walk like that which is okay I guess however standing on the skateboard yeah you 
can't really. There, there. He's kind of. Nope. <laughs> they need. Pe He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet, but there's no pegs on the skateboard. Um, let's see. This should fit in his hand. Just like that. In his right hand. And then this one. Let's see. Does his thumb fit in the blade hole? Oh well, and he does balance just like that with the blades in his hands. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him balanced on the skateboard. Um right. It's balanced well like that. He is not wanting to balance on the skateboard though. Let's try moving his legs around a bit. Yeah, it's... He's not going to be able to balance on that. It's going to take far too long. Then I want this video to be to try and balance him on the skateboard. So, we'll just, I don't know, guys, <laughs> they made him really top heavy. There we go. We'll just, we'll have him just like that. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video of NECA's Gremlins Ultimate Stripe. Uh, you can find these at GameStop for about 30 bucks. Not a bad price. I love the paint job. Uh, the, the articulation is pretty stiff. And he's not that well balanced. Uh, they really should have included a display base. Or display stand. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. If you have this figure, tell me what you think about him. Um... Like I said, it's great sculpt, great paint job. The articulation is way too stiff. He needs a little bit more articulation, but that's just my opinion. And he's not very well balanced. So, take care, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Have a good one. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, Make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.